Hello everyone, Racemon here. I'm back with the third part of the VW Samba. I actually forgot it had a name. We always called it the Semi because we never had a name. But it's called the Samba. So, I'm going to call it that. <clears throat> well, before we get started, I really should cover <clears throat> the changes that have occurred so far. Or thus far. The model is kind of centered now to where the lights are where they should be. The rims, as you can tell, are not white. They've been changed to, well, black. A really, really dark black at that. Uh, I did have to fix quite a few things before I got into this. Uh, the... One of the wheels were actually in the wrong place again, which I had changed before. Um, the trailer to hold this wood, or logs, these logs, was also connected to the wrong place. The log cart, this cart can't be moved down whatsoever. Because it'll cause issue with the trailers with the vehicle turning. I found that out when I tried moving it. <clears throat> and it didn't work out. So, it's stuck where it's at. I did attempt to move it. Uh, the actual suspension, I think, is mine. But I, this version of it is mine because I put my coating back in. <clears throat> so I know that this one is mine. The version that's publicly... Well, not really publicly, but only... The, like this version that I got that I fixed I don't think it had my suspension proper so I put my suspension and everything else so basically this is kind of like the last version except for the add-ons the add-ons have been moved and mostly centered that's the biggest difference <laughs> so as you notice now I do have this load. My route that I want to take goes past the garage, goes through the roadways, well not really road, but pathways, past the first objective, past the garage, then to the second objective, which is through a lot of mud that I don't know if this will be able to make it through it, because it's going to struggle. Now I did have a little issue before I started recording this with this vehicle which is going back into the game when I had this load. The wood was actually not connected to this rear trailer so I had to go back into the little loading area and load it once more. And you can tell I've been driving this Samba for most of the time because I've driven 7,130 meters. And I don't know why the tires are smoking. That's, um... Okay. I do not understand why. But, either way, um, I don't, I don't need to get repaired. Did I ever get damaged is the first thing. Because I have a zero of 9,500. I'm pretty sure I would have gotten damaged at some point. If not, then wow. I bet this is going to struggle up here quite a lot. Mainly due to the pathway right up ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and avoid all of the mud. Come on, go right. Yes. Come on. Don't roll. Oh, no. Come on. Yes. It is leaning on a tree a little bit back here, but that's fine. Come on. I don't know what is with that. I haven't been able to get into high very easily anymore.
your struggle is quite hard to get into high now. And I looked through the coding, I don't see any changes. So from here, we will... We'll go straight! No, 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 no! Oh my word. Um, it only dropped one log, didn't it? Why does it do that? Why? Uh, am I able to start this? No? Arr. That went well. I can't remember these controls. It's not gonna stay on there. Oh my word. Well, this is what this is kind of for is to go. Oh! is to go save the Samba. But we did drop the load, so yeah. That's great. Okay. So we rolled the Samba. Uh, there is only one log pickup area that I know of. So we're going to move the 4320. We're going to take it to a kiosk. Out of here. So let's go ahead and take this to a kiosk, and then we're gonna take the Samba to a kiosk. So this is about what the first time I'm using a different vehicle. Well, aside from the F three fifty. So yeah. Not really much I can do about this because I need this since it has the crane right there. So, yep. And you can see the little guy in there too. How nice. Hey, at least I can look back while driving and not hit anything. All about that skill. There's probably a YouTube, like there's probably some YouTubers out there that play spin tires, and they probably can't look back for this long. <laughs> they probably hit something already. <coughs> That's for sure. Man, oh man, is this gonna take a while? So actually, can we cut across there? We can cut across this, go here, go down there, and then go across. Let's do that. Probably should have crossed through the trees, not through the mud. It would have been faster. I don't know. 
But onward we go anyway. Oh boy, oh howdy. Arr, everything struggles. I don't exactly need the trailer, so... Yeah. Come on. There we go, come on. Yes, alright. The amount of camber that happens whenever the suspension gets compressed is insane on the front tires. Or wheels, depends on what you want to call them. I really should have shifted into high uh, to maintain my speed. Then we gotta turn right. There's a song button F350. The sun was not this, this fast. It seems so much slower. Which is kind of sad. But it does so much better throughout the terrain, I think. In my opinion, at least. Can this do this? Yes, it can. Okay, the log kiosk is where... I do not remember. We'll check right here. So basically straight in front of us when we cross the bridge. Oh, almost rolled, okay. So let's go. Yes, okay. So what I'm gonna try and do is just manually load the Samba and then drop off the logs to the bottom objective which I will do in this I'm not gonna cut this short no nope, I'm gonna do it now how can we get over there can we go right really the F350 would be best for this we can turn left into here cut through the trees Uh, there we go, we got our route. Thanks to the almighty 4320. And then we're here. Nice. Okay, so we got the 4320 here. Now we gotta get the Samba over there. So we will go the same route, the... Well, just about the same route. Well, not really. We'll go elsewhere. Just to explore more of the map. Arr. Come on. Okay, maybe this struggles a little bit more, but I prefer it. I like this. Because I have more confidence in it than the 4320. Probably mainly due to the three rear axles. But I mean, still. More confidence is good. It's just, it's extremely hard to get into high. And I am not folding up that trailer because it's gonna be very bad if it wants to roll. If I can just get in the gear. Liz. There we go, finally. You know, maybe, maybe we'll pick up the cart. Just because. And I don't get these winch points why they do this. I've never seen that many winch points before. 
I think the Samba has those winch points, not the trailer or the attachment. Ooh, I'm gonna try it. If not, then we'll get the F-350 on guard. I don't think this is gonna work, is it? Yeah, no. Okay, well, can we winch? No, Deke got stuck, no. Come on. This is why I don't like my keys getting stuck, or my mouse in this case, because, you know, desk problems. Get up and over, please. There we go, finally. If you dare roll back there, oh my gosh, I was going to be so angry. What is with this? I, I feel like a high gear was messed with. It used to not be this hard to get into high gear. Wait, I'm going to shift into high, I'm going to shift out of high gear into automatic and see what gear it goes into. It's probably higher than what it should be. Let's find out. It went into 8th gear. Someone has messed with this. And by someone, I mean death. Why would he mess with my high gear? Man, oh man. No wonder I find it so difficult to get out of automatic. I pick my gears very specific, so if this goes public with his uh, high gear, please leave a comment about it. I don't know which would you prefer, a easy higher gear to get into or the faster harder gear to get into. I prefer the lower gear. So let's unpack the cart, and then I forgot I need a winch it. And there we go. And hopefully that's good enough to get the logs in. So let's see. I might be a little too far. Didn't really notice that. Am I too far? I am not. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh no, don't do this. Okay, none of, we don't need any of that um, business here. Thank you. Golly, these camera angles are so irritating. My word. Oh, I'm really focusing to get this, and I think we only need two, at least I hope we only need two. So let's find out. Position your truck properly.
There we go, six load points. So now we can either go straight to the objective on the top and finish that, or go to the bottom one. Let's go to the bottom one, why not? Because we can finish that one. And this is why this this is why, I'm not even joking. This is why I wanted the lower higher gear. The low the lower high gear, wow. Is because I wanna go into high gear now, but I can't. And also the front end lifted there and I couldn't turn. I am really struggling because there's a hill right behind me and the trailer's on the hill. Come on. Come on. Like right here, I can't do anything. I want to go into high gear, but I can't. Man, oh man, oh man. So we have 277 liters of fuel dropping at a pretty high rate but we are hauling logs so not much to say about that also again where is my 10th gear <laughs> doesn't want to shift into my 10th gear come on Still not shifting into my 10th gear, wow! It really it wants to shift down instead of up. So, shall we take it off-road or shall we cut across? Now if we cut across, I don't know what's there because I've never been there. So, we'll, we'll go through the mud. If we get stuck then... I'll end it there and I'll bring the F-350, but if we don't get stuck then, well, we'll keep going. And hopefully, this can do it. I guess this entire series thus far has been, is that a light? Was that a light? I don't know what I saw. Anywho, this series thus far has literally been me just testing this. It's handled everything well. Extremely well. It's just that fuel lasts quite a long time. Comparative to other stuff. Even though we've literally used like 540 at this point. It's not that bad. Now why is that even a choice to pack the cart? That that needs to get changed somewhere. I gotta find out where we gotta change that at. Oh my word. So we do have rolling as a issue. Like normal of course. There's not much I really can do about that either. This high gear is not the best. Because I cannot maintain the speed. And what went over there to the right? Oh, I remember that. I really should have followed that route. Would have been faster. Come on, Samba. At least I think that's how we're pronouncing it. I would put a link. Oh my word, no. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh.
it's a it's a bit it's a bit difficult to drive this. I'll give it that. So I don't I don't think I'll do another video on this because well we could have gotten there if I had been more careful with my choice of where I'm going because I really did pick a really bad idea because if you look to the right of the vehicle which is on the right now you can see there's a little bit of solid road in the water so that would have been a better choice but instead I decided to go in the water well not in the water but in the rock face so that's a thing so for the last like little bit of this got a question and hopefully if you've gotten this far I want you to answer this question would you want to see a newer video of the F-350 once it's been redone because I think the last video I did on it it really really struggled with mud and now if I go through mud I'm pretty sure there's some up here I don't know or like let's say the water yeah let's just travel through water right so you think it's impossible and yet here I am just blowing right through the water literally so if you want to see a video on the F-350 explaining the changes that happened between the last video because I'm pretty sure that one was without all of my changes then I can do a video on that as of which you can see that the truck could basically drown and most likely if you see my videos you've seen uh, TC9700 videos and his video of this didn't go very well when he went in the water so if you want I'll, um, I'll redo a video of this and I technically drowned it don't know where wow I almost I went through the lake wow oof so if you want to see a new video of that let me know down below but for now and well for the end of this series I guess this has been Racemon for Racemon Gaming and I will see you later